Hello everyone, it's me, Rob. Rob Bidolf, there I am, holding a sausage dog. And I am back with you today for another edition of Draw With Rob. Now, you might know me from books like this one. It's called Grr, about a bear who has lost his growl. Or maybe you've seen this book. You might have heard of this book, at least. Now, I didn't write this book. It was written by somebody called Jeff Brown quite a long time ago, I think in the 60s in America. But I have redrawn all the illustrations for this book and it's called Flat Stanley. It's all about this boy whose pin board falls off the wall in the middle of the night and it squashes him flat. So he's about an inch thick, I think. And he gets up to all sorts of adventures, including being flown as a kite by his little brother down here. Can you see him there? There's his little brother. So that's a really fun book if you want to look that one up. Right. Should we do a drawing? What do you think? I think we probably should. There's my piece of paper. Now, I am gonna do a drawing today of another dinosaur. We've already drawn one dinosaur. If you go back to the very first Draw With Rob video, you will see me show you how to draw Gregosaurus. But today, we are going to be drawing Nancy from Give Peas A Chance. Now, Nancy, can you see? She's a lovely red dinosaur. Let me see if I can find another picture of her full length picture of her. Where is she? Oh, come on, let's see if we can find one. Oh, there's a couple there. There we go, there's one. You can see Nancy there. She likes playing guitar. And she is a red dinosaur. She's got this great big green spine. That's because she is a Spinosaurus. Okay, so we are gonna have a go at drawing Nancy, the Spinosaurus. Right, now then, this is how it works. We are gonna do this drawing together. I am gonna draw a little bit of the drawing and you are gonna copy what I do. Then I'm gonna draw a little tiny bit more, then you're gonna draw what I draw. Then I'll draw a bit more, then you will draw. I will draw, you will draw, I will draw, you will draw. And then we're gonna all end up with something that we're really pretty chuffed with, hopefully, okay? So, let's make a start, shall we? All you need is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. A bit later on, you might want to find some coloring pencils or some felt tips or something like that, but you don't need to color it in. It's up to you, right? So we are gonna start our drawing of Nancy the dinosaur with a very simple U shape. Right down there at the bottom of our page. Then we are gonna put our pen on the top left side of our U and we are gonna come along, we're gonna curl around and we're gonna head up to about there, like that. Now, if you did take part in the Gregosaurus Draw with Rob, you will recognize lots of this because we draw this dinosaur in a very similar way to how we drew that dinosaur with a few key differences. You'll notice the first one, we've gone a bit higher up here because Nancy is a little bit taller than Greg. But you should recognize some of the similarities, hopefully. And who knows, maybe once you can draw this dinosaur, you might be able to invent your own afterwards, who knows? Right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our pen here and we are gonna come along and we're gonna curl around. We're gonna go up to about there. So not too far this time. Then we're gonna curve around and we're gonna head off back along the top and we're gonna stop there. So we're gonna stop just past the point that we started like that, okay? Then we're gonna curve around Again, we're gonna stop before we get back home. And this is the point where we turn around. We head off uphill. We change our minds. We turn around. We go back to the beginning, like that. And that is the start of our Nancy the dinosaur shape. Now, just like before, we're gonna add another U shape there next to the first, so that Nancy has two legs. Then we're gonna add an arm in for Nancy. This time I'm gonna draw the arm going straight down, but again, it's another U shape like that. And this time I think I'm gonna give her little claws. We're gonna do one, two, three. We're gonna do her claws going that way because she's standing with her hands at her side. Now then, this is my favorite bit because this is when we get to wake the dinosaur up. I always like doing this bit. So what I want you to do is, you see where this bit 
If you imagine that this straight line was carrying across here, yeah, we want to draw our eye above that, okay? We don't want to come below that, and you'll see why in a minute, but we want to go above that. So I want you to draw a circle round about this size, round about here, like that. And if you like, you can make this one. Nancy's got slightly darker edges to her eyes, so I'm gonna make my circle a little bit thicker this time, just like that. Okay. And then, of course, this is the bit where we actually wake her up. We're gonna draw a tiny circle in the middle of her eye, like that. Now, did you notice that I have drawn my circle? I haven't done it right in the center. Oh, I just heard a dog bark outside and I can see a dog outside my studio door. Unfortunately, you can't see it, but that is my dog. That is Ringo and he is barking because he wants to come in, but I'm not going to let him come in because we are making a very important Draw With Rob video, video, aren't we? Off you go, Ringo. Go on, go and find somebody else to play with. Oh, poor old Ringo. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, right. Yes, you'll notice that I haven't drawn his pu uh, her pupil right in the center of her eye. I moved it very slightly over to one side. And weirdly, this makes it look like the character is looking straight at us. Whereas you would have thought if you'd put it right in the center, then it would look like the character was looking straight at you. But particularly when they're looking to the side like this, you usually have to move the pupil slightly backwards to make it look like they're looking at you. It's funny that, I don't really know why. God, can you hear that dog barking? Ringo, off you go, off you go. Go and see if you can find Catface, the cat. Yes, I have got a cat called Catface. I'll tell you about her another time, shall I? <laughs> right, now then, Nancy, she has three great big eyelashes. One, two, three, like that. And she is a very smiley sort of a dinosaur. So we are gonna draw her smile. It's gonna sort of wrap around her eyes. So this is how we do it. We're gonna put our pen on this corner here. We're gonna go straight along and then we're gonna sort of follow where the eye goes and we're just gonna stop about there. She's got a great big smiley mouth, you see, like that. Okay, let's give her an eyebrow. We can put her eyebrow a bit above her eye there, make her look extra smiley. Hokey doke. Now then, this particular dinosaur, she has quite sort of strange markings. So she has, if we, she, if we draw a straight line across there, just above her arm, and then another straight line like that. And then we're gonna draw five circles. Five circles. See, she has these sorts of strained markings on, one across her neck, and then she has a similar one just here on her tail. It's just a sort of pattern. We're gonna do three dots in this one, like that. Sort of funny little pattern. Now then, I'll tell you what we do. Should we add our little dinosaur texture? Do you remember how to do dinosaur texture? What we do, we add some little dots and spots and circles. Just up our dinosaur's back, like that. Not too many, we don't want to overdo it. We just do a few going up our dinosaur's back. And maybe let's do a few going across the top of the head. Just to suggest that sort of lizardy, snaky, skinny sort of a texture you up her tail as well, why not? Come on, let's go crazy. There we go, you up her tail, like that too. Now, Nancy, you might remember, is a Spinosaurus, so we need to draw her spine. Now, this is how we do that. Again, we have to imagine this line here that's going up, if we imagine that was going up all the way through her face and carried on out of the other side, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just draw it, and we're gonna do it quite high. We're gonna do it about there. So yeah, imagine that line goes straight through, so it should line up with that, and we draw a straight line up out of her face like that. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna come from here, we're gonna go all the way around with a nice curve, and join up, and there, the back, okay? My curve isn't brilliant, actually. You should have come out a bit more like that, but hey, you get the idea. And then we're gonna do lots of lines coming out of her head and her back. We're sort of gonna follow the curve of her spine around like that. Look, we've pretty much finished, haven't we? What have we forgotten? Any guesses? My favorite thing? Yes, that's right, a shadow. A little bit of shadow down here. 
There we go, Nancy's shadow, and she is standing on the ground now. We need to colour Nancy in, don't we, now? I think I told you before that she, in my books at least, she is red with a green spine like that. But you know what? You can do yours any colours you like. You can do yours, you could do each of these different stripes in her spine a different colour. That might be cool, like a rainbow colour. You could do her, you could do this part of her could be blue with pink spots. You could do her covered in stars. You could just do her all one colour. You can do anything you like. There are no rules. I am going to colour mine now. And as usual, I'm going into super speed mode. Here we go, watch me fly now. Here we go, one, two, three, go. So, there we go. Our finished Nancy the Spinosaurus. All that remains is for me to sign my picture. There we go. So, I can't wait to see what your Spinosauruses have turned out like. Hopefully we're gonna get lots and lots of different colors and different patterns and different textures. And you might even wanna name your dinosaur too. I saw lots of you have been sending me your pictures. You've been really creative in the way that you've named the things that we've drawn. So I've really enjoyed seeing that. So listen, why don't you get mum or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever you're, whoever you're with to take a picture of your drawing and send it to me on social media using the hashtag draw with Rob. That means I definitely get to see it. And if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe to my channel, to like it, to share it, all that kind of stuff. So that lots of your friends can also draw along with us and then maybe you can all compare your drawings and see who's done the funkiest colours. Funky. Does anyone use the word funky anymore? I don't think you do unless you're 100 years old like me. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Listen, it's been really fun drawing Nancy the Spinosaurus with you today. I hope you've had fun and I'm going to see you again soon for another Draw with Rob. See you later. Thank you.